Drinking enough water, drinking other beverages that are like caffeine, caffeinated beverages, soft drinks, alcohol. I know a number of people that have MS that have gotten over it as I've worked with them in my practice because they really went on a strict diet and did a lot of things, but others have not because they refuse to drink and they continue to drink their sodas and their dehydrating beverages. And dehydration doesn't necessarily cause it, but it makes it w much worse. Here's one that everywhere I go, I have people tell me, oh, and yeah, my, 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 this relative, friend, acquaintance has schizophrenia. We don't hear about this because a lot of, nobody's going to come up to you and say, I have schizophrenia. But schizophrenia is very much related to dehydration and the risk, high risk of dehydration further from the psychiatric medications that they're on. And they show depression, they show delusions, hallucinations, remember coma and being delirious, lack of water, no energy, again, brain doesn't work right, confusion, stupor, comatose-like, and suicidal. Um, suicide among our teenagers is very high. I am of the personal belief most of our teenagers that I work with, and I was a counselor in the alternative, the kids that couldn't make it in the regular school, they were the, the special kids. So I worked with them for many years. And they never drank water. Of course, I didn't either. But they had more problems, more traumas, more things that were pushing it. And a lot of these kids get suicidal. Seizures and dehydration. One of the most incredible things that I have witnessed in our brain camps is that the kids that come, they come, some of them, not all, several um, in spectrums on the autistic spectrum or others, they have seizures. They're on heavy medication. Some of them have shunts or things put into their brain to control the seizures. They get there and they don't have any more seizures. And I'm going, hmm, I think there must be a connection here. We're putting them on a lot of water and um, they choose to work with their own doctors to get off the meds and we're seeing maybe one seizure the whole two weeks is pretty much what we see when they've been having them every day. Pretty amazing when you see that and pretty much documented by research that says dehydration is a trigger for a seizure and it can lead to coma and death and ticks is a disorder that can be related to dehydration. Now how many for Tourette's and these kind of things ever say it's dehydration? But folks, this is a common, not very common, but it's common enough amongst some in the population and it's not a very fun thing for people to have. And the research says dehydration is a factor and a very big factor. Strokes and heart attacks related to dehydration. You've heard of people being out on the basketball court and you know they're sweating and they're working hard and they go off the court and they drop over dead. You heard of that? We've all heard of that. It's dehydration. They were probably drinking something, you know, of those uh, special drinks that they, you know, that the people in called gators drink, you know. Um, <laughs> And when we don't have enough water, remember our blood needs 80% water. It's a flowing river through us. It builds cholesterol, which causes strokes and causes clogged arteries. And when we take the drugs for that, we get further dehydrated. And when there's insufficient water washing in and washing out, we, the, the membranes seal off. Um, so further water is lost. And when the dehydration blood, the blood gets thicker. Why do people have bypass surgeries? Why do people have events of heart attacks? Because they're dehydrated. What a simple solution, guys. And it's so economical. Do you think that $4,000 is cheaper in getting a water machine that will wash you and wash your arteries than going in for bypass surgery and losing work? for six months to a year. I mean, come on. Put your priorities in the right place and start thinking about what is it and where are we putting our priorities. When we think about, when my husband and I were introduced to this kind of water, we said, that's a no-brainer. We're spending all this money on supplements 
and, and all these things to get younger and to do the work that God's given us to do, it doesn't make sense for us not to have the best water on the planet. And so cholesterol is a production in a defense. It's God's way of protecting us from dehydration. Swelling of the brain and dehydration. If you lose more sodium than fluid, you will swell. The body compensates for this loss by producing particles that pull the water into the cells. This produces edema and swelling. And when this happens in the brain, there is severe grave consequences. And folks, you and whoever gets this information from you, this information may save a life. Because when somebody has a car accident or an injury to the head, the number one thing that can cause more brain injury is the swelling. And if you cannot stop that swelling, you will have so much more brain injury and in many cases death. So remember that little piece here. There are little life nuggets here that can save many lives if you pick them up. Brain dehydration, histamines, and brain allergies. Whoever thought that allergies were related to dehydration? Oh my goodness, when I was 16, I started this thing called allergies. And so my parents took me down to the doctor and I got all these tests, those miserable tests. And then I had to, for years, get these crazy shots of these antigens. And I thought, these aren't doing anything. I still have allergies. And, you know, I started moving into nutrition, and that helped changing my diet. And I think just getting more fruits and vegetables, getting the water from that, getting more minerals. And I eventually got rid of the allergies. But what I could have saved myself in money and time and lost um, things in life. I had headaches for probably seven years every day of my life. It was allergies, it was toxicity. I never drank water. I didn't even drink regular acid water. I didn't drink anything because I was not educated. And we need to be educated and to educate others about how important brain allergies are a very key factor for people. In fact, a very high number of people have allergens that get into the system, and because they don't have enough water, they affect you in having anger, anxiety, behavior disorders, compulsions and ritualistic behaviors, confusion, concentration problems, depression, mood disorders, nervousness, schizophrenia, and speech disorders. A lot of times we don't even relate these. They are allergies. When the histamine is too high, your allergies are raging, and they are related to the brain. High histamines are, what's the thing on the market? Antihistamines, because they know you've got to bring that histamine level down, or you're going to be miserable if you have a brain allergy or if you have a body allergy. It's an indication of dehydration. Chronic dehydration can cause histamine to become excessively active. Supplying the body with water, and again, the right water, will cause a disappearance of the high levels of histamine. And water, now folks, this is science. This is studied. Science has told us that water, even regular water, will reduce histamine amounts. But think of how much exponentially you can raise the bar if you have microclustered ionic alkaline water because it inhibits the histamines even more and their production and acts like an antihistamine. It's fantastic. Science has documented a lot of things for the brain. And histamines is one of the things they know. They've done the studies. Brain issues are linked to the histamine levels being way too high. Abnormal fears, aggressiveness, autism, bipolar, compulsive behavior, compulsivity, and rituals, crying easily, depression, hyperactivity, obsession about sex, overstimulation, racing brains, schizophrenia, suicide thoughts, and others. See how many of these are coming at us from different levels. Many of these things you've heard just a few minutes ago about dehydration. Now you're hearing it about histamines, that they have high histamine levels being caused by the dehydration. Signs of high Histamines are caused by brain allergies, agitation, aggressive behavior, anxiety.